Thomas Hutt. Thank you. Lot 663, then, ladies and gentlemen. A poster from this house's production of Hannibal I Shalomon. Showing here. Do I have ten tracks? Five of them. Five I made. Six. Seven. Against you, sir. Seven. Eight. Eight once. Selling twice. Sold. From Monsieur de Fair. Thank you very much, sir. Lot 664, a wooden pistol and three human skulls from the 1831 production of Robert le Diable by Meyerbeer. Ten francs for this. Ten, thank you. Ten still. Fifteen, thank you. Fifteen, I bet. Good, fifteen. Your number, sir? Lot 665, ladies and gentlemen, a papier-mâché musical box in the shape of a barrel organ. Attached the figure of a monkey in Persian robes playing the cymbals. This item discovered in the vaults of the theater. Still in working order, ladies and gentlemen. Showing here. May I commence at 15 francs? 15, thank you. Yes, 20 from you, sir. Thank you very much. Madam Cherry, 25. Thank you, madam. 25 by mid. Do I hear 30? 30. And 35? <clears throat> Selling at 30 francs, then. 30 once, 30 twice. <laughs> Sold for 30 francs to the Vicomte de Chagny. Thank you, sir. A collector's piece, indeed. Exactly as she said Will you still play When all the rest of us are dead? Lot 666 then A chandelier in pieces Some of you may recall The strange affair Of the Phantom of the Opera A mystery never fully explained we're told, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the very chandelier which figures in the famous disaster. Our workshops have repaired it and wired parts of it for the new electric light. Perhaps we can frighten away the ghost of so many years ago with a little illumination. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs>